Welcome to an all-new year of fear. Adventure Landing presents Haunt Nights with Jacksonville's only 3D attraction. Apocalyptia 3D leads you through a doomed city of glowing radiation. Then step into your worst nightmares as dark fables turns fairy tales into scary tales. <laughs> You've never experienced Haunt Nights like this before. Visit hauntnights.com for details. Fear gets a facelift. Watch out. Watch out, yeah, because they're around uh, with every corner. They don't do Your landing or out at Jack's Beaches, taking your favorite bedtime stories and doing something horribly scary to them. If you've been out there, some of the displays are disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> well, this morning their makeup artist is transforming our sweet little Tracy.com into a twisted princess. And the process has been going on all morning long. Let's see where she's at right now. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Mike. Do I have to change my voice now that the scarier I get, Steve? If you feel the need. Okay. <laughs> I said earlier that he was making me into a zombie sleeping beauty and I was wide awake, but it's actually a Snow White, so apparently I am not wide awake this morning. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about Apoc Apocalyptia, which opens here at Adventure Landing on Friday, because we have a picture of it to show you. And Steve, you not only do all of the artwork on the people, you did all the artwork for the haunted house. Um, I did a lot of the, uh, the stuff inside. I had some help. Yeah. And you made it 3D. It's 3D. So yeah. that's got to be a challenge. It's, uh, yeah, you got to paint with the 3D glasses on, so, you know, it's... Uh, really? Yeah. That's so fascinating. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about the process. How long is it going to take you to make up all the monsters for Apocalyptia? We'll usually have about two hours before the show to, to uh, get everybody into character and, you know, make up on and all that. And you said some of them actually do some of it themselves to give you a head start. Yeah, base coats and, and that sort of thing, like, you know, the dark around your eyes, mm -hmm. there. have the actors do that themselves, it's saving me some time. All right, am I getting bloody? Because I noticed that there's red on, no, <laughs> on that no. plate. <laughs> no, we're going to keep it uh, morning show style. Oh, here, family so. friendly. That's right. I like that. Oh, I have to tell you something that Steve said a little while ago. He said, oh, I think I almost got some paint on my shirt. Look at his pants and his arm. He uses his, his arm as a palette. <laughs> and he was a little nervous about getting it on his shirt. I find that very fascinating. Huh. All right, well, Apocalyptia is opening Friday here at Adventure Landing. It's 11 dollars they are also going to be opening up Dark Fables, which is sort of the character that I fall into on October the 12th. And there's some specials as well to, uh, to do that, to do both of those. What do you want to tell people to get them to come to Apocalyptia? Oh, man. It's Halloween. Y'all want to be scared? Come on. All check right. it out. Very good. Adventure Landing here at Jacksonville Beach on Tracy.com. I'm not. I'm Zombie Snow White. And I am still wide awake. Back to you guys. That was crazy. I mean, that was pretty fun. Yeah. He, was, he was like, man, you should go first. You should go first. I was like, I'm good. <laughs> well, you may never sleep soundly again. Adventure Landing in Jacksonville Beach is launching its new 3D haunted house on Friday. But apparently, our Tracy.com has already been bitten by the Halloween bug. The apocalypse is coming, and it's coming to Adventure Landing. Attraction designer Dan Fapel loves Halloween. It's totally my passion. I work on all different types of amusement park attractions, but Halloween's always been my favorite. This year, Adventure Landing wanted to go all out for their annual haunt nights, so they hired Dan to create a haunted house like no other. I love working with haunted houses. I've been doing it for over 24 years now. Dan's creation will be filled with hauntingly scary creatures, but it's also all in 3D. Wearing the 3D glasses, the artwork just pops off the wall at you, and it appears like it's just jumping right in your face. The entire process took two months to create, but Dan says elaborate characters aren't just for his ghouls. You can do it at home, too. They can pick up prosthetics like what you're wearing, and then they apply the adhesive to it, uh, apply it to their face, hit it with some paints uh, to give it some dimension and color like you've got on. Um, the contacts you can order online. Hunt night starts Friday night. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Reporting from Jacksonville Beach, Zombie Snow White for Action News. Don't like it, Trace. Don't like it. <laughs> well, you have to be at least 12 years old to get into hot nights. That was awesome. That was so great. I can't oh wait. 
I, my stomach hurts. <laughs> and they were scared. They were scared. <laughs> Ooh, Halloween, it's just around the corner, and Veteran Landing is getting in on the scares with their annual haunted nights, only this time it's even scarier. You ready for this? You ready? Michelle Branham is here from Adventure Landing. Nice. You're not so scary. I'm not scary. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not scary. <laughs> yes, not scary, but there are some very scary people who are going to be making their appearance. Who's, who are these Fruit Loops here? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, know, I, I know, I get scared too. just thinking about it, and I know these folks. These are, um, we have our new Apocalyptia 3D haunt, all, all right. new 3D, and it's the only 3D haunt in Jacksonville. Kitty, look at this. You're a friendly clown. You've got your arm oh, around yeah. them. Ah! <laughs> We're all <about> <laughs> Whoa, let me get out of the way. Okay, it's Apocalyptia. So Apocalyptia like Apocalyptia opens this Friday, okay. and we have two haunts. Um, so when we say fear gets a facelift, uh, uh, Dan Fapel has really taken this to a new level. So, so there's some very intense visual effects that you're going to see. Well, you actually, come here, Dan. You actually hired Dan. You don't have a microphone on, so you, you can't talk. You just have to stand there and look pretty like Bruce does every day. This is the haunt expert you this brought in. This is our in. haunt expert, resident haunt expert. And Dan. what kind of things, how has he beefed up your haunted house? Yeah, well, 3D is really new for us, and that's different, and it's something you won't see anywhere else. Wait, so that's 3D what? 3D. So you, you actually put on the 3D glasses when you walk in. Oh. And besides these guys, all the visual effects are coming at you too so it's very disarming and alarming and so are, you have a haunted house I've never been out there because my kids are too small we so. do we have one interior yes it's not for young children this is age 12 and up okay. it's not for the faint of heart inside our laser tag is Apocalyptia 3d and then outside in two weeks we'll open up dark fables which is all scary nightmares um, you, you take a perverse pleasure in scaring people yes definitely let me my get passion. this <laughs> is one of your passions scaring people? Of course. Why? I, I work with a lot of different amusement park attractions, but Halloween has always been my favorite. I've done so much haunted house work. It's been mind? great working with Adventure Landing. And uh, who does all the makeup? Actually, Dan and some of his um, his staff do the makeup, and they do it all in house. It's um, it's really really fun to watch them put it together. Which one is your um, oh oh? I know. Wrong. Oh. <laughs> you had to tell your voice. But he's just like a sweet, terrible clown. He's got a heart of gold. You've got, is that stuff dripping from... Maybe. What's dripping from your neck? It's natural. <laughs> it's natural. It's sweat. <laughs> I thought it was an effect. I thought it was like, you know, blood it's dripping. Effect, right. It's an effect, alright. You spent a lot of money on the sweat of the characters. Well, here's some video of some of the frights that you're going to get at Adventure Landing's Haunt Nights. Um, how much is it to get in, Michelle? It's um, eleven ninety nine this weekend, Dan. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then we'll have a combo pass um, in two weeks when both haunts open up for seventeen ninety nine. Okay. You guys have your work cut out for you too, right? You enjoy scaring people? Oh, yeah. Oh. Are those your eyeballs, really? Can you stare into the camera right there? Look into Freddie's camera right there. He's going to get a close-up of your face. Look at those eyes, guys. If you want to get scared, Adventure Landing's Haunt Night start tomorrow night. Woo! and continues through October 31st. Tickets are available online. Go to hauntnights.com from dusk until midnight every night. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. So scary today. after Thank a you. while. All right, Richard, standing by with your forecast for the weekend. That uh, may scare you off. You know, the part of it may be scary. You know, I'm going to have to borrow those people since we have a little extra time here for weather. Come on over here. Here's an idea. Let's have a scary beauty pageant. Contestant number one likes long walks along the makeup counter with Clinique. His favorite color is blush and, of course, blood red. Please welcome our first runner-up, clown number one. And a spooky clown at that. I'm digging those eyes. Thank you so much for stopping by. Contestant number two is a big guy, but he says, I like hugs. Yeah, come on, let's hug it out. <laughs> like I said, he likes hugs. And that is a nice special effect. I know it. Freddie made that by turning the heat on. And our last contestant, call him bashful, but he is very needed, especially if you have leaky plumbing. Please welcome along. What's your name, Doom? Doom. That's a scary name. 
<laughs> oh, I like your knife. Perhaps you and the chef could get over there and make some new granola? No. Raw flesh. All right. Uh, and this runs from when? When to when? This weekend until the end of October. This weekend all the way through Halloween at Adventure Landing. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I mean, just got back from um, the other haunted place down around Mouseville, but you guys, that's, I dig that uh, Doom outfit. And, of course, the clowns are both scary. All right. to get really scared. Well, there's that for you as well. Adventure Landing's Hunt Nights are up and running. There are several different ways to get spooked. The Apocalyptia 3D started tonight. It's got your zombies and your mutants and your giants. I was terrified. I did not think I was going to be that scared. Definitely worth going through. I feel like definitely worth going through. Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying. The hot night goes on tomorrow, and then it's weekends throughout October, and of course, on Halloween on the 31st. Time stories turning them into dark fables for Halloween hot nights. This morning, their makeup artist has transformed our very own Tracy.com into a twisted princess. Tracy, tell our viewers how long this took. You look gorgeous. Yes, beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's all in the eyes. Well, I have a joke for you guys. Why did the zombie ignore all of his new Facebook friends? Why? Why? because he was still digesting his old ones. All right, joining us this morning is Michelle Branham from Adventure Landing. Uh, let's talk a little bit about my transformation because you're going to be transforming about 30 characters coming up this weekend. That's right. Uh, you look fabulous, by the way. I just want to tell you, I Thank love you. the transformation. Love it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about what happens with Haunt Nights starting this weekend. We're excited. We're opening up our first 3D haunt, and it's the only 3D haunt in Jacksonville. That's Apocalyptia 3D, and that opens this weekend while well, it's the last weekend for the water park to be open, so there's a lot going on at Adventure Landing. And then two weeks from Friday, you're opening up another one, which is sort of my character. Your character is in Dark Fables, which is the second haunt. So there'll be two haunted houses, basically, in Adventure Landing for the remainder through October 31st. Okay, and so is this, like, kid-friendly, or is there a certain age limit, or what's the deal with that? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is definitely for the 12 and up, folks, because it's super scary. I'm not even sure I'm going through looking at you looking like that. But um, we'll definitely have a Halloween party for the younger kids, nice. and that's Saturday. October 27th. But it is 12 and up. It is not for the faint of heart, Tracy. All right. And it starts this Friday. I don't even know how to get out of this segment because all I want to do is kill it. I don't know. Was that even funny? <laughs> <laughs> you guys. I, I just, I just want to stare at you for a second. I, I just, um, do you wear contacts? Uh, I have contacts in. No, and I know. But do you but wear I contacts normally? No, I don't. I know a little weird. Somebody's sticking, my, uh, sticking their finger in my eye. I'm good. I feel like down I have right glaucoma. Now. You look good. You look good, though. Make sure you wear it all day. You should go out shopping at Publix or Winn Dixie this afternoon. I'm going to kiss my boyfriend right now as soon as we get done with this segment. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Looking good. Thank you so much, Tracy. Breaking hearts across the area there, Trace. Thanks. All right. Time off. Uh,